Hi, I'm Mark, <laughs> Baker Screen Acres, and today's question is one that I've kind of modified, but I, I want to get a point across. The question is, uh, why the chicken? Why the chicken? Okay, as you can see behind me, we've got a bunch of laying chickens, and then um, right here, there's a brooder right over there, and it's full of these little fellers. And this is a broiler chicken. And this guy's only about a week old. See, and he'll get to be about uh, four and a half to five pounds in between eight and ten weeks, depending on the weather and the feed supply and all that stuff. Okay, um, there's only two reasons to have chickens as far as I'm concerned. This is one of them. Eggs, the incredible edible egg. And this is the other reason. That's a chicken, that's a broiler that's been processed. I took it out of the freezer just as a little prop to show you. Okay, those are, as far as I'm concerned, those are the only two reasons to do it. A lot of you are gonna find out that as you raise chickens, you're putting more into those chickens than you're getting out of them. And that's true, I found that to be true as well. And the reason for that is this right here. That's commercial chicken feed, right? Commercial chicken feed is mostly corn and soy, and then they put a mineral pack in there for your chickens to stay healthy and all that stuff. And then they do things for layer feed to make the layers lay, and broiler feed to make the broilers grow. But let's talk about that a little bit. What do chickens really need to eat? Chicken's uh, an omnivore, so they can eat both meat and vegetable material. And they're, they're pretty well designed that they'll eat what they need to eat. You know, a chicken's whole life is, revolves around uh, a laying bird, revolves around laying eggs. So she's going to do whatever she can to gather in what she needs to lay eggs, all right? Uh, this egg is very edible and will do amazing things to the human body, you know, if it's, if it's taken carefully and cared for properly. It's pretty forgiving too, by the way. This egg will stay at room temperature for 100 days because it is sealed up pretty well here, so long as it's not a crack in it, there's a inner shell, it's called a cambium, that, uh, that keeps the egg material really safe from any foreign invasion. And that'll keep for a long time, so that's a good good chunk of food to have around. Now that's protein and the shell is calcium. Really good things. So consider a chicken. It takes carbohydrates and turns them into proteins. That's what the chicken does. And uh, that's, that's a good thing because human beings need proteins. So if we use this commercial feed all the time, um, and this stuff comes from a local mill, I just call it commercial. <coughs> This bag is about 11 bucks, and chickens will go through about two bags a week. So 20 bucks in feed, am I getting 20 bucks worth of eggs? Yeah, I guess so. If we sell them at three, three and a half bucks a, a dozen, I guess we do. But could we do better than that? The answer is yes, and that's what you want to do as a farmer. You want to constantly be making gains, making gains is what it's all about. I've got a healthy flock of chickens, one stupid turkey in there that evaded uh, Thanksgiving. Um, and but my my dollar input is staying about the same, so I want to decrease my dollar input. The question is, how do I do that? It's knowledge is what it's all about. Now I have a a bowl right here that comes out of the house. This is just from breakfast this morning. And maybe a little bit of dinner last night, but I think it's just breakfast this morning. It looks like it. Now I see uh, two apple cores in there. I see some scrambled eggs left over from breakfast. I see some rice that was fried, and that was probably last night. Yeah. And then I see a bunch of eggshells. I see a little piece of cheese that was the hard end. Nobody wanted to eat that. I see banana peel in there. That's questionable. 
Uh, I see a tea bag. That's questionable. I see some potatoes and a little bit of green beans. I got a family of 10, so this is, we generate this quite a bit. Now this can go to the pigs as well. There's no doubt about that. But what about the chickens? Well, let's see what happens. scrambled eggs, having some beans, apples, we like those, oh we're eating the shells, the egg shells, how about that? Yep, they're going to go through all of it. Banana peels are a little questionable, but my point is, you have an incredible device here in a chicken. They can take garbage and turn it into something that you can use. And you can see just from one meal period at my house with 10 people, how much garbage we produce just from the, you know, day-to-day -day eating and stuff falling on the floor and different peels that nobody wants to eat and things like that. Now, can you imagine if you collected them up from everybody in the neighborhood? Your chickens could be well fed, very low cost. I'm not totally against buying chicken feed because you can see that I've got some here. Uh, but I do believe wholeheartedly in augmenting their feed with stuff that you can get for free. Uh, I've got old bread that we get sometimes. Uh, and you just come across stuff. If you go out to eat and they say, do you want a to-go box? And you're saying, I'm never going to eat that, those old french fries. They will, and uh, they stay a lot healthier if their food supply is diverse. Uh, you can throw, you know, if you have stationary chickens and you don't move them around, mow the lawn in the summertime, if you collect the, the clippings, give it to them, they'll make good use of it. Uh, rake leaves in the fall, give it to them, they'll make good use of it. You have uh, a piece of, let's say you hung a ham and it wound up getting maggoty. Give it to them, they'll make good use of it. You know, they will turn things into food that you can eat, that you could not eat. Um, bottom line, there should be nothing going down your garbage disposal. Absolutely nothing. Because if you have chickens, they can utilize all of it. Okay, that's what I have to say. It's not to think about with chickens, um, but they're a good animal to have around the house. Uh, they're a very good survival type animal because of what they can eat. And a chicken, uh, just like a woman, is born with every egg that it will ever produce. All right? It's actually in, right in here. Uh, if this is going to hatch up to be a hen, that hen will have every egg that she'll ever produce right inside of her. Typically, they go about two years, but we've had chickens around that have gone a lot longer than that and kept laying, so we keep them around. And then when they wear out and before they keel over, what you want to do is you want to get them processed, and uh, it's very important to know how to do that yourself. And then that goes in the stew pot, and it makes excellent, excellent uh, soup or, uh, you know, other things along those lines. These chickens would be a little on the tough side, so they have to be cooked low and slow. All right, that's something to think about. Remember, anyone can farm, and uh, please, if you haven't done so in a while, please check out our Indiegogo page. You, it's found at anyonecanfarm.com, and uh, we are up over the $10,000 limit for our Anyone Can Farm project. Real proud of you guys. Thanks a lot. That's going to take care of a lot of the equipment needs that we have. Um, so thank you very much. Remember, Anyone Can Farm. Have a good day.